Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Could you believe there is a boss in a 5-3, I should say a dash 3 level rather than the usual dash 4? Yep, they're throwing you off now. <laughs> anyway, 5-4, stay on track. I think I know what they mean by track. You know, mine cards. <laughs> um, oh yeah, split path right here, right off the bat. Um, over here, treasure chest. Don't forget about that. Yay! Shell costume! Right, so we got that. Oh, now the platforms are kind of in awkward positions, but I've got a glide and I've got a double jump. How do you like that? Yeah, there's a lower path too. Oh, this path is for... Yeah, I think. Yeah. Um. Oh wait. Uh, maybe I can get through this. Uh, maybe. By the way, those are mom bats. Yeah, mom bats with the baby bats. <laughs> um. Not really sure. Hmm. I should say the mom bats spawn the baby bats. Yeah. I don't think I can cross this gap. <laughs> Oh, well, maybe I can. Hold on. Maybe. Maybe I can cheat this a little. See, the, the power that we still haven't gotten yet for Bunston is a thing that will let you fly. Well, that flight will allow you to easily get through this area, though the power that you get is kind of sluggish. It doesn't really matter because, you know, you can just fly over everything. <laughs> um, all right, here we go. No, I'm not going to be able to get this without Bunston's power. <laughs> it was worth a shot, though. Okay, so I'm going to have to keep that in mind for later as well as 5-3. Uh, That's fine. No big deal. Just that I'm going to be lacking secret, uh, secret levels to do uh, when I finish this part and then go off to the next part. Because, you know, usually I do uh, all the secret levels I can do at uh, one moment in time and then they fill up a part. But there's only going to be one after this. Uh, no. Mm -mm, I'm not gonna change my mind. I just wanna hear your dialogue to see if you've got something new. Oh, got a little bit of current in this water. As you can tell by those little dots there, and you also feel yourself fighting the current. <clears throat> okay, okay, good. The current uh, goes on and off periodically in both directions. It's set up to mess with you. <laughs> but there's still plenty of time to get through this. Even with your, uh, even though that you're racing the water to get, um, wait, isn't it? Yeah, it's up here to get there. Mm, I picked the wrong side at first. Oh, come on, really? Duh. Every room, there he is. <laughs> All right, combo attack. No more bats. Stop it. If you just rush ahead of the bats, you're, they're not even going to bother you whatsoever. Although you could oh, sort of try and uh, kill them before like you rush ahead. Otherwise, you know, they could jump. Uh, just not jump, I mean move after you, behind you like what they almost did to me there. Uh, gliding segment here. You actually got to use your double jump in order to glide because, you know, the glide and jump buttons are the same thing. La 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 la, do, 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 do. and believe me, don't let go of the button, because you'll probably get spiked. <laughs> Close to the water. Um, I'm gonna take a look ahead here to see where I need to go. Okay, I got, absolutely must hit the switch before going on ahead. But I just want to see, oh shoot, where I'm aiming for. The current pushed me off the switch before I got it at maximum height. Push through it with ow pain. Current switch directions. That was mean. <laughs> I seen it switching too. It's just that I reacted poorly to it. Alright. Okay. That's okay. You got plenty of health, actually. Three hearts worth of health. I'll probably be able to get lots more. Oh, come on! Again! Be able to get lots more when I uh, uh, kill a bunch of enemies, find some pearls. That's how the game rolls. <laughs> ah, here we go. Oh, you caught up with me. You can't get away, you overgrown beach ball. Wrong, over, wrong, over here. Oh, peeps, you're here. 
Everything okay? Ready to roll? <laughs> this is my favorite part about being a baddie. What? This is a whole lot of bad all at once. I don't like this. Hey, look. There's a minecart we can use. Well, I guess we haven't gotten any choice now. Get on board, gang. Now we've got a way to fire a cannon. Well, we've actually got a cannon on this, so yeah. <laughs> you know, as opposed to other minecarts, because we are going to be battling the boss on a minecart. Let's do this. We've got to dodge stuff. We've got to shoot stuff. It's gonna be pretty dang awesome. Just keep mashing the Y button, <laughs> in all honesty. Because you have a unlimited ammo, and you're, you're bound to get lucky with shots. And you could having all these bullets, I mean, having all these cannonballs shooting at once also blocks his bombs as well a lot of times if you are, um, you know, aiming for him. Like, you shoot directly up, and you, don't, you can't, like, otherwise control your direction um, unless you move towards where he is. So it's a matter of uh, uh, just keeping moving with him, and as you keep moving with him, you end up blocking the bombs because you just keep shooting the bombs. But it's it's a multitasking thing though, because you're you're still not going to get all the bombs as you go. It, there's still going to be a bush oh, like that. Some are going to get away from you because you're going to shoot more of them than you can handle shooting at. But uh, overall, when you're shooting at bombs above your head, what happens is that oops, shoot, shoot, I'm at one life. What happens is that um, you end up uh, shooting the one above your head, and that's the one that's the threat, because, you know, it's, it's the one that's coming down on top of you. Ah, oh, Poopers! I started the battle with only three life, so that's kind of, that was kind of my fault, because I was doing badly in the, uh, the stuff. Yeah, the rest of the stage. All right. Here, wait a second. Oh, shoot! Wait, how did, did I just, like, hold on. What? Why am I back here? I pressed the A button to continue. Does, I, and I died before. Huh? I. I guess I'll see you back by the boss. But yeah, I thought when you die, you go to. Oh, because I haven't been saving. For you know, for the sake of the walkthrough. Oh shoot! Okay, I get it now. That explains why I haven't, I, I, I didn't end up going um, back to a, a later spot in the level. Oh, that's my fault. Uh, forgot about the necessary, I should say, I uh, should have saved beforehand then. Yeah, anyway, I'm just going to cut forward here. I'm so disappointed in myself, I can't even talk. Alright, here we go. Rematch of the century. Uh, oh yeah, the dialogue's not going to remember that I've already been through the dialogue because it's been a while since I saved. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's go! <sighs> Ding! Alright, wipe his train out this time I'm furious now okay I should probably think of more stuff to say than just um, grunts and screams for commentary <laughs> so anyway How's it going today? Nice weather we're having. Winter is finally letting up. Well, at least over here. <laughs> but yeah, I think I already got all the dialogue that I needed to strategy-wise for said battle when I was here the first time. Uh, needless to say, he's uh, pretty well invincible when uh, uh, when he's flashing like that or just seems to be like that because he doesn't seem to take any more damage uh, while he's flashing. By the way, these large rocks, they, they bounce up um, as he throws on. He gets more and more aggressive as you keep playing, basically, and I did a lot better than I did my first uh, run in this video. Gah! Our cannon is overheating! It's gonna blow! Hit the deck! Gah! The minecart is breaking up! Wait, uh, uh, breaking apart? Hmm, I'm remembering something! My ship! My ship broke apart! Goodbye, you two! <laughs> and flashback.
Hmm. Hmm. There's the kid. Got on my sights. Ready. Aim. Oh. Oh, poopers. Alerts and warnings are never good. Fire! Hmm. Hmm. This looks familiar. Huh. So that is how it happened. My memory's coming back. I think my... Oh no! The track stop ahead! It's a dead end! <laughs> Uh oh ah! Oh yeah! My ship! More flashbacks. Snips, frog, peeps. They shot me down. That's when I fell to Puff Top. Wah! Maybe those shards... ...are actually... Yes! That's it! Why didn't I see it before? They're pieces of my ship! It's back! I remember everything! Sweet! Starfy! Mo! What should I do? Well, first, catch yourself from falling somehow. You have to find the shards and fix my ship! So I can save my people! Why are you having this conversation at this time? Huh? What's he yapping about? Gah! Strange twist. The whole time Bunsen was from another planet. Busy plummeting to the ground, Starfy and Moe didn't have time to be surprised. <laughs> they were falling towards a sea of rainbows. Would they ever find all the shards, the missing pieces to Bunsen's spaceship? Meanwhile... Far, far away from the floating land of Puff Top, trouble was brewing. What? Not yet? They don't have them? Lord Mashtooth, sir, according to the message, Snips, Bronk, and Peeps say, He's in a place called Pufftop, sir. Uh, uh, don't eat me. Pufftop. Never heard of it. Sounds stupid and fluffy. You! Get me more carrot nibblers, now! I'll show a prince who's in charge. Uh, uh, sir, well, one other tiny thing, sir. Uh, don't hurt me. I, I was thinking, uh, maybe we shouldn't be doing this. It's not very nice. <laughs> Doom! You question me? Team Rocket's blasting off again. Listen up, Nerd Nugget. Strength is everything. And power is strength. So power is everything, too, uh, I guess. Whatever. I have the power to take over this galaxy. Once Bunston is mine, I will be invincible. And won't that be fun? <laughs> Prince Bunston, if you value your precious planet, you will bow before me. And if not, kiss your home goodbye. <laughs> Well then, looks like we learned of the baddie that seems to be in charge of Snips, Peeps, and Ronk in that cutscene. Um, there's one chest left here. I don't remember if I got that in my initial run through here. I was just racing through the level the second time. I don't think I did. But I'm gonna I'm gonna check through this level really quick. Don't mind me. Yeah. Oh, no, I just can't make that jump. <laughs> nope. Looks like I didn't find the chest because here I am back at uh, Mo and Bunston spot, and I did not find the chest. He well, I should say another chest there whatsoever. So I guess I did get only one chest my first run through the stage. 
<coughs> where I didn't save. Um, I'm wondering if I should do Secret 1 this part. I think I will. Just because I'm really unsure <laughs> where I'm going to put this. Because I'll, because in the next part, I'll end up going over to the next world. And yeah, it's going to be sort of unorganized. Sorry, he's good at squeezing the hard reach bases. Should we give her a call? I can do it alone. I'm, I'm fine with that. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine doing this without Starly. I've been fine all this time, and I'll be fine through this as well. Um, how high does this water go? Not very high, I thought so. Uh, that's a Starly path. Uh, oh, yeah. deep pad. You are my nemesis. Follow the pearls. Ow! I didn't follow the pearls all that well. <laughs> uh, this switch. So raise it a little bit higher to get up here. As you see, Starly doesn't really need uh, the water up to that point. She just zooms right through everything. Again, she's got uh, easy mode. <laughs> um, I think this is another Starly path up here. Yep. See that? It's a place for her to squeeze through. All right. Zigzag. Will I hit something spiky this time? No. But I could, actually, I had plenty of time to get those pearls over there. Um, what's up? Uh, that's the end of Starly's path, okay. Alright. Oh, oh, one way door. Ooh, chest. A chest. Oh, oh, it's right there. <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I thought this might have been the stage that had the um, chest that's difficult to get to, that you have to run over to the water. I mean, run across the water. Or uh, race through the water while the water is draining. Uh, sure, kit. I'd, oops, uh, I declare a public challenge to you. Meow. I have followed you to the ends of Puff Top, and now I await you. Meow. If you accept my challenge, I will be waiting for you in the caves. Meow. Hmm. I have a feeling sure kit didn't get that message. <laughs> All right, let's move on. We got one of two chests. No secret. Uh, no, yeah, no secret levels to unlock here. So we're just looking for chests, and this place will be. 100%ed nicely. Double jump, very nice to have. Um, no chest in here, but what I'm looking for is um, like doors of sorts, just in case there's somewhere around here. No, I'm not gonna get squished here. There's a limit to um, how, how low the water gets down there. Uh, I mean, how low the water goes down there, excuse me. Alright, so. Run, 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 jump. Run, 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 jump. Run, 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 run jump. Alright, these platforms, once you reach them, are pretty safe because they're easy to jump onto. Uh, I think this is where the second chest is. Yes. Where could it be? Wait, 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 hold on. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, this area does have a lot of secret walls, though, if I recall correctly. Ooh, Pearl Sprite. Yeah! Pearl Fireworks! At least it kind of has that sort of formation, but it's not as explosive. And they're like homing pearls if you stand in the center there. <laughs> and milked it for all it's worth. Alright, now. Uh, there's a path through here. There it is. Heart Jam for the win! Woo! Two more to go to increase the life, and I'm going back over to Mo. <laughs> of course. Always nice to have Mo Sniffer. Although, um, this stage is pretty much done, uh, because I already got both chests that are here, and uh, this is a secret though. I remember that. This goes... I think it just loops around. Yep. It's a hard edge though, that you can't break through. Just there to be there. It's hip to be square. Uh, where is the water switch? Did I miss it somewhere? I was a poet and didn't know it there. Ah. With the somewhere and square. Where switch B? Yes. What? Did I... Was it way back here and I had to race it? I forgot. Because I can't get through that without... Uh, hmm. The plunger is there too. Uh. Mm. Mm, where is... Is there a secret there? No? I didn't see a water switch. Did you see a water switch? I didn't see a water switch. Oh! 
Where does this lead to? Hmm. Hmm. No. Mm -mm. No. Still no. I'm breaking apart the entire undersea landscape, but there appears to be no switch. Hopefully the emulator didn't screw up on me. <laughs> uh, that's to tease you about the treasure chest down there. But overall, I think this is a dead end. Uh, oh no. Just leads you out there. It's not exactly a dead end, but it loops. I mean, it gives you pearls. That's, that's pretty nice, but it's still not all that helpful. What? Oh, wait, wait, maybe I'm supposed to look for the path to the plunger. It has nothing to do with water. Ah, that is the solution. Okay, so it was a little a digging puzzle of sorts. And there we go. Secret one is complete. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. Two levels in one video. It's going to be a little longer, but I'm sure you won't mind. I hope you enjoyed. And... I'll see you in the next part.